Hi, this is Vinod and Sneha. So today, let's talk about the theory of reciprocity. And that is a part of the basics of photography, part 2. If you haven't watched the basics of photography, part 1, here is the link. Theory of reciprocity is nothing but the uh, exposure reciprocal uh, in photography terms. So if you have watched our uh, first video on the exposure triangle, you know that the three basic components of the uh, exposure is the ISO, the aperture and the shutter speed. These three components gives us what is called as the exposure. Exposure is nothing but the tonality of an image from shadows to highlights. Here is an example of an underexposed image. As you can see, uh, this has a lot of dark areas or uh, shadows in the image. This image is an overexposed image. So, uh, what is an overexposed image? A lot of highlights in the image or brightness is uh, a lot in the image. This image shows a correctly exposed image. Say, see if you can see the uh, shadows from the shadows, the highlights. The image is correctly exposed, and the tonality of the image is correct. Judging an image by what you see on your LCD screen of the camera is not the correct way to uh, look at the exposure. For this you need to understand uh, something called as a histogram. Histogram is nothing but a graph which shows the exposure from dark to light areas. Um, so if the histogram is in the middle, it means it is grey uh, in the photography terms and uh, that's how the camera manufacturers uh, you know, manufacture the camera bodies. And you know it's a good exposure but uh, there is no contrast in the image so a white can look grey or a black can look grey. Uh, if, if you have a perfect bell curve right from the shadows to highlights that is a perfect exposure but uh, you're never going to get that. So uh, but if you have the graph uh, like Sneha was mentioning that if it is from the dark to the darker regions to the highlight regions and if it is uh, pretty much like a you know a heartbeat so that's that's pretty much a you know cleanly exposed image according to the camera now once you get a proper exposure you can get artistic by using this theory of reciprocity that is if you reduce one stop of light in one of the components you can compensate that one stop in either of the other two components yeah so let's say if uh, you have you're taking a landscape photo uh, of an ocean you are you have some rocks in the foreground and you have the ocean in the background and your let's say your shutter speed is at 1 by uh, 60th of a second your aperture is let's say at 4 and your iso is at 200 and uh, now you got a proper exposure the histogram shows it correctly now you want motion to be seen in the uh, water or in the ocean so you know you need a longer shutter speed longer duration so you would have to over uh, you know expose it more or uh, let's say probably one second uh, long exposure so what you'll have to do is you uh, reduce your shutter to one second and now you compensate it with the other two uh, you know uh, components of the exposure triangle so you can so you know from one by uh, 60th to one second is about uh, six stops of light so i can compensate by you know reducing one stop of iso that is 200 and increasing the aperture from f4 to f22 that is five stops of light so this is how you can compensate and you know maintain the exposure that you get correctly in your previous shots uh, now let us take an example of this flower as you can see the flower is in focus and the background is blurred out or the background is out of focus but if you can see it clearly the flower is not in focus completely the edges of the petals of the flower is not sharp enough uh, and this is mainly because we are using a lower f value of f2.8 f where the aperture is wide open and the depth of field is shallow. The shutter speed here is 500, 1 by 500 of a second and the ISO used is 100. So without changing the exposure, you can increase the f-stop to f4.5 where the aperture reduces and uh, it gives a larger depth of field to view each and every details of the flower and uh, you can change the shutter speed to 1 by 180th of a second which is uh, like one and a half stops of light. 
so this was all about the theory of reciprocity in exposure uh, you know as part of photography and this uh, sums up our uh, basics of photography part 2 in our uh, you know uh, basic series uh, if you have any questions uh, please leave them in the uh, comments below we'll also leave uh, links to you know the camera bodies and tripods that we have used for this video uh, in the description box below be sure to check them out as well and uh, do subscribe to our channel and if you like this video do give it a thumbs up uh, so see you next time